Guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I'm Brian, the CEO, and today, if you like hogfish, if you like snorkeling and diving, if you like Goliath grouper, this video is for you. So this channel is all about the outdoors, fishing, enjoying life, positive vibes, and spending time with your family. And this day is no different. I went out on the water with my brother-in-law and my nieces and nephews and some friends, and I got to do something and experience something for the very first time. If you like the content on this page, please make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notifications on. So it's day three after my knee surgery and I still can't walk. They had to stitch together my meniscus so it's gonna take a lot longer than anticipated. But I did film this episode a while back and I think it's something that all my new subscribers will enjoy and even the old subscribers too because if you haven't seen it yet, it's a pretty good video. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of CEO Fishing. We're doing things different today and we're doing things different from now and from now on, you know what I'm saying? I got my family here. Got my nephew, Matthew over here. I got my niece, Kristen. I got my brother-in-law, Eric. Just like I bring my kids, Lexi and Jaden on the show. We're all gonna do this together, have fun, and we're gonna do all different types of fishing. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy because uh, we got something brand new coming for you today. All right guys, this is my nephew, Matthew. And He's gonna tell us why we're cruising around Daddy. right now. Right Daddy. now, we're Daddy. cruising Daddy. around to try and find places that look rocky and look places that look like that hold fish and look like there's reef. What kind of fish? For hogfish and grouper and a whole bunch of stuff like that. Uh, you think we're gonna find some? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Let's find them. Good. Everything's looking good. All right. For y'all that don't know, this is my brother-in-law, right Hello. here, Eric, and uh, today he's putting us on some fish. We're trying. Hopefully we'll get some, right Matthew? Yes sir. Alright. Let's get them. Alright guys, so I've never snorkeled before or anything. I've, I mean, I've gone to the beach, I've gone swimming, but I've never done this style of fishing or even swam over the reefs before. So uh, this is my tutor right here. That's Kristen. That's my niece and she's going to teach me how to... What are you going to teach me what to do? How to do. She's eating right now, but you know, <laughs> when she's done eating, she's going to explain what hot dogging is and exactly what she's gonna it? teach me to do. You're what? calling it hot. <laughs> You're calling it hot dogging. Why did I say hot dogging? It's hog. <laughs> hog dog. Hey, hot dog sounds better though, right? <laughs> so, so this whole time since they told me the other day that we're going hot dogging, I thought we we're gonna like use hot dogs and just jig them for the fish, but uh, apparently I was wrong. We're using what crabs? You put those hot dogs in your backpack. <laughs> Are we using Cheez-Its? <laughs> What's the tape for? <laughs> Somebody's a little sensitive. <laughs> I got These it. are nipple shields, right? <laughs> yep, nipple shields. Brought to you by Band-Aid. You get them at Walgreens. Yeah. Ooh. You get them at Walgreens. Nipple shields. Nipple shields. <laughs> X marks the spot, guys. I guess this is where we're diving in. <laughs> So jumping into the water, immediately I just felt at ease. Just looking down, seeing the reef, seeing all the fish around me, it just, it, it, it's like going into another world, you know? And you know, you don't hear the outside sounds, all you hear is the water. And uh, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, it's relaxing and I could actually find myself just out there for hours and hours. All right, so basically what happens here is we've got a yo-yo, and then we've got fishing line on the yo-yo. And then on the line, we've either got a jig or a hook with uh, with a weight. And put the bait on, 
and all you do is swim around. We're looking down at the rocks, looking at the fans and everything, and we're just trying to spot some big old hogfish. So basically what happens, if you see a hogfish, you swim up over it, you drop that line down, and you just bounce it and drop it right next to that fish, all right? If the fish sees it, he'll turn and just start crunching on it. The moment the hook gets into his mouth, you just gotta rip it up, set that hook, and then you have to fight it. It's a little trickier than it seems. You're underwater holding this fishing line and you can't just rip it and hold it tight. So you have to be able to finesse the line on and off of the yo-yo, otherwise you're gonna lose the fish. All right, so when we were swimming around, we came across this big old Goliath grouper. And without exaggeration, he was pushing a good 200 pounds. That boy started flexing on us, like, like, boom, boom, boom. So you can hear in the video and see how he like vibrates his body because I, I just I just wasn't expecting it, you know? Um, and just understanding and knowing the power of these fish. Yeah, I didn't want to get too close. But coming face to face with a fish like that is just truly like, it's mesmerizing. Yeah, I just, I just, you know, I can't wait to do this again. In addition to my family, you know, we had Jason out there with his son Colton. And uh, Colton was a little beast in the water, man. He's just swimming around, spot fish left and right. Same with Matthew. Like these little kids, you know, they can outfish some of the best of us, man. And I, I ain't even lying about that. These kids, you know, to see to, to see Matthew dive down and hold his breath and chasing fish at the bottom of the, the reef, uh, I feel kind of proud as an uncle, you know what I'm saying? And then see Colton, how he's going around, man. The kids swim better than me. But uh, yeah, so that's the future of fishing. You know, I, I'm just glad to be a part of it, you know? All right, so what's your favorite part of hog dogging? Like, what do you think is the most rewarding part about it? I think watching them eat is really cool. Yeah? But it's rewarding when you actually get them up <laughs> without breaking them off. I'd have to say when you convince them to eat, you put the bait there, you've worked hard to find them, and then like, when you convince them to finally eat and he eats, like, I find that the most rewarding. They crunch on it. Yeah, they did. They're brutal. Like, yeah. 
It's not like a, a normal fish when they just swallow it. Yeah, and they're completely. not just like nibbling. Am I pulling like, you guys in? You want to go to another spot? Yeah, and then they'll hold it in their mouth and then swim away. Without the hook in it. You'll see the hook hanging hang out like the all the way over here. Jason. <laughs> so I actually thought it would be easier than what it looked like. I learned a couple things today. One is I'm really out of shape. Like I was like wheezing and I drank a lot of salt water. Let's just put it that way. You know, I finally got one to take the hook. It was the first try too. But I, you know, I tried to set the hook too quick and you know, I didn't get a fish today. But you know, they did. That's all that matters. So I'm gonna take their fillets. <laughs> How are those band-aids doing right now? Did we get a band-aid preview? Nope. Did they fall off? Nope. Oh we just needed one more to get our limit, so we sent the little guy in. Right. Look what he got! What you got? Let me see him, man. Hold him up. Wow. <laughs> Matthew! That's how you finish the Jump day. In. Cool fish and good eating right there. What's your favorite recipe? Have you ever had lazy days? We call it lazy day style. Alright, got this beast. Yeah. There was a I was talking about how there's a whole bunch of borderline fish. And I saw this fish's tail. I saw him too. in a fan. And I knew I knew it was a big fish. Yeah. So I go down and he starts I see his head and then I'm like I saw how big he was. And then as I'm oh. going down, he turns his head and he looks at me and I got the perfect shot. You looking straight in the eye before you got him? Yep. There it is. That's a hoggy hog right there. All I know is your fins disappeared and you came up with that thing. <laughs> Good job, man. So basically, we needed one more fish to hit the limit. Got Lady Mick oh, came that's through. Good. That's a good day of fishing, boys. Where's your phone so I can right get that? Right I'm actually shooting video right now. Oh, What's up? Yeah. Ready? We eating good. We're eating good tonight. Right, Cole? Yeah. Look at me and smile. I didn't realize how peaceful and how at ease I would feel out there in the water swimming over that reef. And uh, it's definitely something I want to take my kids to go do. So uh, I hope you enjoy this type of episode because there's going to be many more of them to come. I did learn one valuable lesson today. And that lesson was you got a shirt on and you're supposed to swim with the shirt on. When you get off the boat and take off the shirt, before you get back in, you should put the shirt back on. Because I didn't put sunblock on my back and uh, it ended pretty badly for me. I've got the worst sunburn that I've had in years. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was fun getting down in the water. That was my first time actually snorkeling on the reef, so it was an amazing experience for me. And the fact that I got to do it with family and friends made it even that much more amazing. But it is the end of the show. So again, if you haven't hit subscribe, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on the notifications. That way you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. And remember, Okay, remember, it's time for you to be the CEO of your own life. Go catch everything outdoors and then always keep your head up, keep moving forward in tight lines. Zzz.